Engineering Failures, with Stephen the Engineer. It's April 20th, 2010, in the middle of the Gulf of Mexico. One moment, the Deepwater Horizon oil rig is a marvel of modern engineering. The next? It's an inferno on the water. A cataclysmic explosion engulfs the rig, claiming lives and commencing one of the worst environmental disasters ever seen. Deepwater Horizon. You've heard the name. You've seen the headlines. But today, we're diving deeper into this ecological nightmare to understand how it happened. Buckle up, because this is an oily ride you won't forget. The rig, owned by Transocean and leased to BP, was drilling an exploratory well when disaster struck. But this wasn't just a random act of the universe. It was a domino effect of ignored safety protocols, shoddy maintenance, and an underestimation of risks. Let's start with the blowout preventer, BOP, the ultimate failsafe of any oil rig. It's supposed to shut down the well in case of a disaster, right? Well, Deepwater's BOP was as useful as a chocolate teapot, due to poor maintenance and a design flaw. Next in line for the blame game was the cement job done by Halliburton. Supposed to seal the well, it instead became another key player in this ecological tragedy. Spoiler alert! The cement didn't hold. So we have a faulty BOP, a botched cement job, and then, the coup de grace, a misinterpreted pressure test. The test indicated something was wrong. But it was shrugged off as a blip. Talk about a costly oversight. When these factors came together, the result was a blowout, a massive explosion, and the loss of 11 lives. But that was just the opening act. Next came the oil. Over 4.9 million barrels of it, gushing unabated into the Gulf of Mexico. It took 87 days to cap the well. That's 87 days of oil assaulting the ecosystem, coating birds in a deadly sheen, suffocating marine life, and painting the shores in a thick layer of catastrophe. And the aftermath? Despite cleanup efforts, the region still bears the scars of the disaster. The spill caused extensive damage to marine and wildlife habitats and to the Gulf's fishing and tourism industries. This was not just an engineering failure, but a failure in responsibility, a grim reminder that the pursuit of profit must never eclipse the importance of safety and respect for our environment. So remember, whether you're drilling for oil or just choosing which brand to buy at the gas station, your actions have consequences. They can ripple out farther than an oil slick on the sea. We're all part of this blue planet, so let's make sure we keep it safe and clean. 